Hello everyone, this is Gokul. I work for Okta INC as a senior manager. In this video, I'm going to cover integrations using CloudWorks. And in particular, I'm going to cover the intermodal integ integrations. This is more important for Okta as we are able to build our own integrations and schedule uh, without having the dependency on uh, the integration team. So now let's deep dive into uh, how uh, I built this. Okay. I'm going to share my screen and show what are the prerequisites. The first important prerequisite uh, to get this integration built is uh, we need to have the integration admin access, the one that we see here. And now coming to <clears throat> what I have. So I have two models overall. So I'm, I'm going to transfer data from the model that says demo one into the model that says demo two here. And for demonstration demonstration purposes, I'm just going to have a simple FX rate data that, that I'm going to uh, uh, transfer data from one model into another. All I have is the source view and in the destination or the target, I have my uh, module and an action to pull the data from the source model. Now coming to CloudWorks. So, so on the drop down here on the left top corner, so click on CloudWorks you're going to see a few options here and click on the one that says integrations and processes. And then now on the right top corner where you see new integration, click on this little drop down and click the option that says processes. Now here, just give it a name. Yeah, the one that says refresh FX rates demo. That's the one that we just created. And then there are a couple of ways to run this. One is click on Zoom highlight the particular CloudWorks action, and then just click on the little three dots that you see here. You're gonna see four options. Click the first one that says run. Yeah, that, that runs the action right away. So that's how the data gets transferred. It's, it's basically the uh, underlying action that brings model, just that it's easier to schedule it from here. Now coming to scheduling part, uh, when you click on the particular process that we just created. So you're going to see a right hand side panel. On that, you're going to see two tabs. One is the overview, the second one is the schedule. Now click on the schedule tab and then create schedule. Give it a name. So I'm just going to say schedule demo and then you can choose your time zone and then choose your decide frequency. And for example, I'm going to start something to start now. Okay. So the schedule is set up. And on top of it, you could also set up notifications. And close this little one, come back here, click on this three dots here, where it says notify, click on this. And here you have the option to add your own email address or more than one email address. And you can set this up for the events of failure, partial success, or success. So just give this and say apply. So that's it. Go. You click on this thing again and click on view activity. That's going to tell you that it's been queued up to run. So it's going to run in the next minute or so. OK. Now, the status has changed from future start to running. So if you look at the status description, it has changed from queue to running now. So which means the process is actively running. Okay, now this is the final status, which is completed and the status description says success. So this means the action has been run successfully uh, using CloudWorks. Now let's look at the target model where we wanted the data. So this is where we wanted the data. Now, right now it's all zeros. I'm gonna just refresh the screen and there you see, the data has already come in from the source model and that's pretty much it.